My name is Rudy Reiter, short for Rudolf. I do building maintenance for the Sunrise Senior Home. My name is Brian Ramirez. I'm a recent graduate of the University of British Columbia. I studied psychology. My name is Clarice de la Cruz. I currently work as a registered care aide where I help people with physical and mental health and with their addiction issues. Jolti I work for the Government of Canada. I am Hungarian, um, but I grew up in the U.S. My friends call me Kara, a licensed practical nurse. Ako po si Jerry Lopez. Nagtratrabaho po ako sa University of British Columbia Hospital as a healthcare provider. I was fairly religious in the Catholic Church. I was, you know, an altar boy and um, I would, growing up, I would always help out with the Catholic Church. I was quite religious. I, I grew up in a Baptist church. Every Sunday, we would go to church, um, and then during the week, we'd have activities or dinners or uh, extravaganzas and things like that. Originally, I did believe in God. But over the years, I've, I used to investigate, see some of the different religions, even some of the video ones. I even attended some, a few, just for curiosity's sake. Um, I was active in uh, my previous religion. I was in the um, worship team band, as, as what we call it. We also have Bible studies. Kasi ang first lab ko preschool po. Kasi after high school, papasok ako ng seminary. Nagsiserve ho ako sa church as an altar server or sacristan. Ako ho ang nag-aayos sa mga religious images, especially Holy Week. Nagkakarb ho ako ng mga images. Binibigay ko ho sa mga parishes na wala hong santo kasi mahal po ang ribulto. I became uh, sort of an atheist. Everything that I learned from school in our religion class, I think of it as a waste. Ang main belief ko ho noon is uh, dapat lagi kang nagsisimba. Dapat alam mo kung ano ang Diyos at kung sino ang Diyos. Yung devotion mo sa mga santo, devotion mo to the Mother of Christ, at yung paggawa ho ng mabuti. Yun ho ang kailangan sa kaligtasan ng tao. And I always believe there's something special about the Bible. I never believed in the Trinity. So even I had some people in the Catholic faith invite me, I never did go because I don't believe in the Trinity. When it came to uh, religion, um, I was always confused that there were so many churches out there, different names, uh, different belief systems. How can we all worship God differently, but yet He will accept everything? But then my mom told me that if you're born Catholic, you should die Catholic. For me, back then, um, whatever religion you join will still lead to salvation. That's why I really didn't care about joining other religions at all. I mean, I've always, you know, believed in God and, and you know, um, uh, Jesus Christ um, and an and afterlife, right? I thought just your presence inside a church is enough and you know when you sing praises hymns to, to God that'll be enough. I've I never even heard about the Church of Christ. Um, it wasn't on my radar. I've... You know I remember um, I only passed by it when it was on my way home from like school. Like, I just see the chapel, but I didn't pay it, uh, much attention to it. Ang sabi nga ho nila noon, naririnig ko, Iglesia no Cristo. Uh, napakababa ng tingin nila sa Panginoong Jesus. Ordinaryong tao lamang. I've heard a lot of rumors about the Iglesia ni Cristo, such as... Uh, they 
the brethren give 10% of their earnings as their offerings. Isa pa po sa naririnig ko is, the church officer po will visit you in your place, sisingilin ka ng iyong offering, ng iyong abuloy, at may multa. And they even called the church Iglesia ni Manalo. I actually just ignored it because I really didn't know the church personally. So it made me more curious to know more about the Church of Christ or Iglesia ni Cristo. I saw this chapel being built and I'm driving down Marine Way here because I just figured it's another, you know, fake religion of so many that claim they are the true. Well, my first time actually is when I met Sister Risa, and then eventually she started inviting me to come to worship services initially, maybe to some Bible studies. Well, I thought initially, for, uh, because I told her, you know, I, I checked out some of the other religions and they weren't exactly, I saw the Bible is open, but they never used it. So she's told me, well, they're doing it, that they, here we use it. May deacons and deaconess po na laging pumupunta sa bahay. Jerry, pwede ka bang ma-invite sa, sa pamamahayag namin? Ganyan. Hindi ko humabilang kung ilang beses ko silang hindi pinagbigyan ang nakatanim sa isip ko. Itong mga taong to ay hindi sa Diyos. Antichrist, kung tinatawa. So my, my first time being invited to the Church of Christ was early 2015. And I didn't go right away. I was interested, but I, I didn't have a rush, I guess you could say, <laughs> to go. Um, I had a friend in the Philippines who, um, who, was, who was there for me um, during uh, my difficult times. He started sharing his faith. And he, um, you know, asked me to, you know, if I could try attending the worship service inside the Church of Christ. At first, I only wanted to try and see how it is inside the church. And I didn't really plan in continuing to, to listen to the words of God. Uh, back in the Philippines, I have a friend uh, that I actually invited in our uh, born again worship service, but he, he keeps on uh, declining me. And we have a, a topic called, uh, what is Jesus Christ to you? He said, Jesus, Jesus is a man and our almighty God is the only God. I was so um, uh, curious about his answer I asked him, what's your religion? And he told me he's a member of the Iglesia Ni Cristo. He gave me a Pasugo or God's Message magazine. There's a passage about the true nature of our Lord Jesus Christ. The explanation was very clear. That's why I went to our pastor the next day and I told him, you know what? It's clear that it says that Jesus Christ is a man. So why are, we, why are we believing that he's a God? And actually the pastor did not uh, answer my question. He just told me that I should stay away from INC members because they are non-believers. I decided to ask my friend again uh, on how I can hear the teachings of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, and he told me to attend uh, a worship service. Until na dumating ho yung time na nakita ko very sincere sila sa pag-invite sa akin. One time, pumayag po ako sa kanila. Hindi ko makakalimutan ho yung topic, ang mga aral na tinalikuran ng Iglesia Katolika. It's about the idolatry, lalong-lalo na sa Birheng Maria. Aaminin ko, nasaktan ako doon. Pero nakatulong ko yun para mag-search pa ako. Ano ba talaga? Totoo ba talaga ito? 
or paninira lang sa faith na kinagisnan ko. Brother Verbach here, who used to be here in Burnaby, he asked me just to come to a Bible study, just check it out. Brother Rod Bruno at that time was the minister. When he preached, the, 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 the verse I was watching and he, everything, it was like question and answer. He'd ask the question and he'd read from the Bible. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? That Bible is actually being turned for pages. My friend in the Philippines sent me a link for evangelical mission. So he, he uh, found like someone I could, uh, you know, like meet up. And so I started messaging Sister Elaine and um, that's also when we, when we met up. I remember later on that year, I was thinking to myself, I need to, I need to try this out. I need to experience it for myself. I actually Googled <laughs> Iglesia de Cristo near me and I went and it was a worship service. I was, I was right there and I was greeted instantly. And I remember just walking in and it, it was beautiful. It was so solemn. I just felt an instant peace walking in. And then right after, uh, the minister, he came up to me, says, says, brother, uh, I haven't seen you before. He's like, you should come to a Bible study. That was, became my first Bible study from there. So I already had a first worship service and a first Bible study. <laughs> and I just remember walking away that night knowing that something changed. I don't know what it was, but something was different. And I knew I was going to come back. My first experience was being invited to a worship service in the Church of Christ. It was, it was very different. Um, when I first stepped in, everyone was so inviting, um, wanting to talk to me, know, wanting to know who I was, you know. From unang dalo ko po ng kanilang gawain, bahay lang ho ng kapatid, nakita ko ho maayos, tahimik, kahit bahay lang ho siya. Hindi ko malilimutan po yung pinaka-first na pagsamba na nag-attend po ako. The first thing that I noticed was the orderliness. The deacons were making sure everybody is in order. Not everybody gets to sit wherever they want. Oh, they sit in the front or back or whatever the case is. Uh, the males were sitting apart from the females. Uh, in, the, in the Catholic uh, religion, and in the, in the born again, you can sit wherever you want. So it's my first time to be in the front seat because I'm early. Not everything is clean, quiet. Iba yung mararamdaman mong presence. Very holy, very solemn. Everyone's head was down, they were praying, they were, it was just so peaceful in there. It was such a completely different experience that, that I've ever had. I remember once the choir sung, that blew me away. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics of the song, but then when the choir members started to sing, I started to cry uh, as if I really felt the song, even though I don't know the, the, the songs as, uh, uh, at all. And then, hindi ko ho na mamalayan habang umaawit ang choir, nagpre-pray na ho ako sa sarili ko. Yung prayer na hindi kinabisado, prayer na para sa Diyos. Doon ho yung first time kong ma-feel na yung presence ng Diyos. Na parang nandyan siya sa'yo, nakatunghay sa'yo. I just remember feeling like, okay, this has to be what God wants. Um, no, no loud noises. Uh, no attention drawing from anyone. All the focus, it's straight to God. Um, and that's, yeah, that's one of the things that made me want to come back. So the, the teachings in the Church of Christ are it's all Bible-based. No uh, man-made stories. Everything's being taught from the Bible. What's being taught here is directly from the Bible. May tanong siya, kukunin niya, sasagutin niya, galing sa Bible. And not, not any like personal comments. So, after knowing exactly what God wanted me to do, and knowing exactly what he wanted me to believe uh, from, from the Bible, uh, I knew that already this is where I need to, to make my home, my spiritual home. I've come up with like some questions from my former re religion and um, 
I asked the minister and um, he answered it like all of my questions were clear to me. And so that's when I decided to, you know, continue to listen to the words of God and finally decided to join the church. After uh, the worship service, my friend asked me, so how was it? And I told him, you know what, I think I'm going to leave the born again uh, religion and I wanted to know more about this church. Bible study um, right after the worship service and so I was the person who invited me kind of gave me the option like, you know, do you want to go to it? Do you not want to go to it? It's up to you depending on how you felt. And like I said, I was intrigued. So I, I wanted to go to the Bible study and it, you know, um, we did the Bible study and, and immediately after that Bible study, I signed up to be a Bible student. Holy Week ng 2004, that was Good Friday. Luluhod po ang pare at ang sakristan. And then they will kiss po the five wounds of Christ. Habang tinitignan ko yung pare, parang nag-flashback sa akin yung nung dumaluho ako sa, dumaluho ako sa gawain ng iglesia. So, nung time ko na ho, parang mabigat na sa loob ko. Ang ginawa ko, imbis na pumunta ho ako at lumhod, hindi ho ako umalis sa kinatatayuan ko. When Brother Rod was the one doing the preaching, when he mentioned about Christ saying that those who accept will be saved and those that will be condemned in the lake of fire forever and ever, that was one of the major turning points that made you decide, you know, better join. And that's the main reason why I joined this church. That's the reason to join this church, because it's written in the Bible. From that first uh, Bible study that I went to, and I've already found out stuff that I've been lied about my entire life, it was kind of like, I need to know more. And once, you know, I was done with all the Bible studies, I, I was, 100% committed to, to joining the church. Dahil ho sa narinig kong aral mula sa Iglesia ni Cristo, nagkaroon ako ng desisyon. Ito po yung turning point. That point po, kinausap ko yung pare namin, si Monsignor. Sabi ko sa kanya, ito na ho yung huling mass na magsiserve ako. The turning point in my life is that when, when I heard the teachings inside the Church of Christ, I felt the love that I was looking for for a long time. So, but po yung aking mga katanungan po na naging clear po lahat sa akin duro ng ating Panginoong Diyos. At uh, doon po nagsimula at uh, nag-decide po ako na Ito po ang, para sa akin, I feel like um, this is my calling po. I remember having a time to myself where I just, I just prayed. Um, and I asked them, if this is where you want to be, want me to be, then I will do that. This is where I'm going to be. You have now helped me to find this place that I've been searching for for years. Then, then I say yes. I say yes to joining. And I promise you, you know, saying this to, to God, I promise you that if you allow me to, to be a member of this church, then I'm, go give, I'm going to give my entire life you know, to, to you. So that was definitely that turning point. Uh, during my um, Bible studies, I've encountered a lot of um, hindrances, especially that I'm the only one who wants to be a member at that time, and my family doesn't want me to. I even lost my friends, but by that time, my faith is already firm, and I believe that God is with me. My mom was my biggest persecutor. 
some people said, oh, it's the Church of Manalo. I said, you know what? You believe what you want to believe. But I said, I know the truth. If you want to know the truth, what it really is, you come and listen. Nung ako po ay mag-decide na pumasok sa loob ng Iglesia ni Cristo, before that po, marami ho akong kaibigan. Pero lahat ng yun parang nagbago. Para kang hangin pag dumaan ka sa kanila. Para kang hindi ka nila nakikita. And then alam mo na after mong dumaan, nag-uusap sila. It's difficult sometimes to to tell my mom we're not coming over on Easter Sunday for dinner. That's That was a major thing was having to kind of take a step back from my family because um, they didn't really understand what I was doing. Aking family po, ayaw po nila na, you know, nakikinig po ako sa Iglesia ni Cristo. So, I've been enduring many, many trials. One of the biggest ones that I had was losing my, my mom. Uh, I was, had to go to college on my own and I didn't really have time to grieve. And, and during that time, it was also falling into like a, a depression. Um, and then I ended up dropping out. And that was tough. I hit a rock bottom. And it's, it's quite interesting because that was the point uh, when I was introduced to the Church of Christ. And ever since then, it, it's been going up from there. Nagbautismohan po ako nitong um, January 2021 po. October 1st, 1994. Uh, that was in July 20, uh, 2012. I was baptized December 21, 2013. August 27, 2005. So my baptism was on January 30th, 2017. And I remember being overcome with happiness. Um, I guess you could say ec ecstatic. Because <laughs> after years of trying to find some answers, it, it was all there. Um, and I was just happy that He chose me. When I became a member of the Church of Christ, um, there definitely was a change in me. I felt like I had a sense of purpose to know that what I'm doing, everything that I do for Him, is being seen by Him, um, it's valued, it's important. Mas naging strong po yung aking pananampalataya, kahit ano mga pagsubok. Um, alam ko po na hindi po ako pababayaan ng Diyos. I mentioned before, I'm really pessimistic. I don't know how to handle my, my feelings. Like, I handle those by hurting myself. But now that I am a member of the Church of Christ, I've learned to who, how to value life more. Masasabi kong mas naging prayerful po ako. Naging prayerful ako in the right way. I've changed some of my behavior. You have the biblical teachings to show you how to go, where to go, how to lead your life. COVID-19 is impacting all of us, touching our lives and our economy. When the pandemic hit on March 2020, um, it gave people fear. A lot of people got anxious. But then the faith of the brethren inside the Church of Christ uh, did not change at all. Actually, our faith uh, became stronger than before. So my, my membership has been incredibly important, especially during the pandemic. My membership, I just kept a hold of it every, every single day, uh, always prioritizing God, always prioritizing my faith, and still performing my duties to Him no matter what. And God continued to bless me because of that. And not only did He bless me, but He gave me even more than what I was asking for. I, right before the pandemic started, I got offered my um, dream career um, job. Because of the pandemic, it was put on hold for about six months and then they uh, laid off every single trainee in, in the country. So the day that 
we were told that we were being let go, we, my wife and I attended um, the worship service and the, the teachings were about how God will never give you something you can't handle. And I honestly think that, you know, because just in that one specific moment, at least, being a member, like, saved, saved me from going down. I, I feel blessed po because uh, kahit na pandemic po, I graduated po sa, sa school and um, nakakuha po ako ng trabaho, which is uh, really a blessing from God. Masasabi kong napakapalad po natin. Kasi po, well-guided po tayo ng pamamahala. Every time na mga ngasiwa ang namamahala ang ka Eduardo Manalo, lagi niyang sasabihin, lagi niyang ipapaalala na lagi kayong manghawak sa magagawa ng Diyos. To my family and friends and to all the people who's interested in knowing the truth, I invite you to listen to the pristine gospel of our Almighty God taught here inside the Church of Christ. If someone invites you, please check out the Church of Christ, the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Ako po ay nag-i-invite sa inyo na sana bigyan niyo po ng pagkakataon na pag-aralan ang mga doktrina sa loob po ng Iglesia. So I would really, really encourage you to at least listen to the Bible studies. See for yourself. Um, have an open mind to find out about the truth. When you continue and be able to become a member of the Church of Christ, that God will continue to bless you. He will protect you no matter what is going on in your life. No matter if it is the hardest trials you have ever faced, you will have everything you need because God will be with you to bring you through and overcome every single one of those trials.